Hey y'all, I'm Parisian and this is Dream of Parisian Tarot. We're gonna get a few cards from my Aries, okay? Please like this video if it resonates at all. Also, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. And don't forget to check out my TikTok. The link is down below in the description box. And if you would like a personal reading, the information is also down below in the description box. So as soon as I open up the deck, the energy from my Aries is, it says the present, gift, treasure, revelation of own value and nowness. So you're about to get some type of gift coming in, okay? Some type of abundance is coming towards you. You also got the card that says sacrifice. It says there are those worth making. There are those that will destroy you. So you might have to sacrifice something before you can get this abundance, before you can get this gift, okay? So a sacrifice needs to be made. Also know if this is not happening directly to you, it could be happening to your person or somebody around you. So put it with every fix, okay? I could be saying he, well, really it could be a she, so flip it and reverse it how need be. So sacrifice came out again. It's very important to do that. You also got the card that says guy. So usually when this card comes out, somebody could be a tarot reader, a psychic, or a spiritual leader, or into their spirituality in some type of way. But we got guide. A guide, mentor, a trustworthy ally. So this is the information that you definitely want to listen to. As you can see, they're talking to each other. All right? So somebody's giving some wise um, information. At the bottom of the deck, we got falling in love. It says kissing the divine and another and yourself. So somebody's falling in love with you. You could also be falling in love with them. All right. Let's get a few more cards for my Aries. As soon as I open up the deck, what we seeing? Eight of Wands. You definitely got some communication coming in at this time. Also, somebody wants to travel. Okay. On the other side, I'm seeing the two of wands. So usually when this card comes out, somebody's being two-faced. So you might need to make a decision to cut somebody off or sacrifice somebody in your life. All right? Knight of wands. Somebody's coming in towards you, but this is not stable energy. This is childish energy. Um, one minute they're hot, one minute they're cold. Okay? But yeah, they're definitely coming in. It could be an Aries, Leo, or Sag, but somebody's very childish here. So they could bring in childish communication. We got the Ace of Cups. So, all right. So it's like some type of friend group wants to get back cool with you. All right. But it does look like some messy shit is going on. So you might have to sacrifice somebody that was in your circle because it could have been bringing in too much negativity. Okay. Or some type of toxic energy. But it's like these same people that were messy or uh, causing some type of drama wants to come back in towards you. Wants a new beginning towards you. But things are changing in your life. We got the will of fortune here, which is good luck, which is destiny. All right. Which is some type of change. Let's see what else we got here at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, I see what's coming with it. Troubles and accusations here. People are picking sides or watching some type of situation going down. So observe and wait. All right. Before you make the sacrifice. All right. There's something that you're going to see soon. Something that somebody could have already been telling you, but you had to see for yourself. We got the eight of wands with the seed. Somebody coming in to communicate with you, but they sneaky. This The seven of swords is about stealing, cheating, lying, manipulation of all sorts. And somebody's coming to communicate with you, but you can't trust them. You know what I'm saying? You can't trust what they say, nothing. Ten of wands, and it's causing some type of burden within your life that you need to let go of. So that's why it's telling you that you need to sacrifice it. Two of wands, two of cups with the higher friend here so um a tar taurus could have something to do with this situation but somebody is definitely has a lot of wisdom you know what i'm saying somebody could be a spiritual teacher or just very knowledgeable okay and the two of cups this person has a lot of love for you you this whoever this person is is giving some type of good information okay yeah the king of cups all right somebody's very emotional they want to express, express how they truly feel about you as well Yeah, somebody could definitely be a tarot reader, a psychic. Somebody's very intuitive here, right? What's at the bottom of the deck? But somebody's waiting, waiting for some type of information to come out or waiting to speak to you. Somebody could also be going to a tarot reader on you, okay? All right, let's get a few more cards. Please, have, oh, wrong one. Hold on one second, y'all. Yeah. All right, as soon as I open up the deck, what we seeing for my Aries? 
I hope you will wait for me. So your person is hoping that you wait for him. And there's somebody that's talking about you. It says, I talk about you, but he defends you. So your person, and then right under it, it says, I feel so protective over you. So your person could be stuck within a situation and um, feeling like they have to protect you from whoever they were dealing with. Okay? Let's see. Can I please have a few cards? It says, what are you doing when you're not talking to me? So for some of y'all, you might not be seeing your person as much or talking to your person as much, but they're definitely wondering what you're doing and who you're talking to. Um, wondering what true intentions you are, okay? So they're definitely doing a lot of wondering. They're all up in their head. They see you having some type of success. You keep winning, they can't beat you, all right? So they definitely already know that there's another person that's in competition with you. But it says, everyone knows that I'm in love with you. Okay, you also got the card that says, I want to come prepared for you. So they've been working on themselves. They've been working on something to come bring to you. All right. And you also got the card that says mirroring each other. So you're thinking and feeling the same things. All right. And it says she can't do it like you. So whoever he was dealing with, she can't do it like you. Can I please get another card? I almost said Capricorn. A Capricorn could have something to do with this situation. Okay. I ain't going to take all of them. That's too many. There we go. It feels better. Yeah, somebody been making up a lot of assumptions about you. And I got lusting over you. Somebody definitely could have been trying to play you like a hoe or something like that. But they were just making assumptions. Uh, but they definitely lusting over you. And it says, I want to wake up to you next to me. Okay, so they want to be in your energy. All right. As soon as they wake up, they want to see you. All right. I'll get a few more calls from my every spirit. All right, so the first card that fell out, it says, I don't love them hoes. All right, so they were dealing with other people, but they want to see that they don't love them. It says, I'm afraid to open up to you. So somebody's having some type of communication issues and death threats. See, somebody could be trying to attack you when your person feels very protective over you. And somebody's a helpful friend, the person that you want to listen to, the guide. All right, listen to this person. But somebody's constantly getting readings but not taking the advice. So you could be getting information from a reader if you're not a reader yourself, okay? Somebody's communication skills are childish. We were seeing that earlier. Somebody's childish. We got night hours. Somebody stays up late at night thinking about you. And somebody's been feeling really unappreciated, okay? And so I'm sorry I hurt you. So they want to come in and um, apologize or something or make up for what they did. If somebody's not happy you're doing well. I heard you've been around the block. So somebody is trying to play you like a hoe. Work relationship. So somebody could have been dealing with somebody that was working with you. All right. It could be turning kind of toxic though. And admiration turned into jealousy. So at once this person admired you a whole bunch, then it turned into jealousy, turned toxic. <clears throat> Can I please have a few cards on my Aries? I feel you detaching from me, and that's what they're scared of. Can I please have one more card? All right, they gave me about four or five of them. It says, what do you like? What can I give you? Because they want to give you some type of gift, you know? Um, they want to come prepare for you. People see you as magical. Some of y'all are definitely a tarot reader or a psychic. That's why I made this card. I or a tarot, tarot reader, a psychic has something to do with it. It says, I'm your friend, but I think about you sexually, all right? And new love is coming in or a new recommitment in love. They want that second chance. And somebody is an excellent advisor. This is the person that you want to listen to. Alright, let's get a few more cards. For my Aries, as soon as I open up the deck, what we seeing? She don't do nothing but keep up mess. Somebody's very messy. On the other side, look at this. Persuaded by toxic friends. And look what's right under it. Teamed up with your close friends. That's what I'm saying. There's some type of friend group. They want to get back close to you or be back friends with you or want some type of second chance. But you're going to have to sacrifice somebody because it ain't good for you. They messing up something that you got going on. The, the abundance or gift that wants to come to you. You know what I'm saying? says i'm trying to keep everybody calm see i made a mistake and said yeah i was gonna say capricorn right um a capricorn had this card coming out so you might want to check out the capricorn reading but a capricorn has something to do with the situation okay it says everybody is investigating and can't believe what they are seeing so multiple people are involved multiple people are watching what's going down at this time they pick and size the troubles and accusations that we were seeing earlier it says 
they act like they don't watch your YouTube videos, but they do. So somebody could have a YouTube or TikTok or something like that, and they do watch it, but they act like they don't watch it. It says, you going in and out of my life has caused severe triggers of abandonment. So somebody has some type of abandonment issues, all right, and they're trying to heal from it. But somebody's in and out. That's what I'm saying. Somebody got that, like, playboy energy. One man they have, one man they cold. It's not stable energy. Um, it says he brags about you intentionally to make them hoes mad. So we did just see the car talking about I don't love them hoes, right? And somebody was using someone to get close to their friend. So fr somebody's friend was fucking them over, all right? So somebody, some of y'all definitely need to cut off your friend because they was uh, talking to your man or your woman behind your back. Now it says these motherfuckers are annoying. I want my ex back. Okay. I want to see you eat, just not at my table. So they might have betrayed you or fucked you over, but you you still got love for them, but you just don't want them nowhere around you, you know? And it says divine feminine family cross to the, your own damn family. So be careful, watch your back with them. They don't want people to listen to you because they know you are right. So they're trying to get people not to listen to you, all right, or look at you or something like that. But they really want your forgiveness. So it looks like they might be letting their pride or their ego um, trump this situation. Yep. Look. I was talking to your friend, but I'm really in love with you. So that's what was going down, y'all. I hurt my nail. All right. All right. I'm seeing you have healing hands. So some of y'all are definitely a healer of some sort. And it says somebody's trying to attach themselves to your greatness. Can I please have a few cards for my every? Can I please have a few cards? Oh, all right. That's a whole bunch. But it says, I chose the wrong person. It should have been you. All right. So now they're realizing it. Your hard work is getting noticed. People all around the world are going to know your name. So somebody could have a public platform where a lot of people look up to you or listen to you. Or you're being watched highly by a lot of people. All right. Oh, somebody got a YouTube channel. Yeah. It says, you were supposed to be my friend. I forgive you for what you did, but we ain't ever going to be the same. Somebody had a fucked up friend here. All right. It says, they would rather fight against what you're saying than actually fix themselves. They know they need to apologize. It says, people recognize your star quality. All right. And it says, somebody's trying to hold somebody back from being with someone. This is very fucked up. Um, you are meant to empower others and bring balance where there is chaos. Somebody is a star seed, a healer, a spiritual teacher, something, okay? A guide. They want to fuck you as well. And it says people be hurt when they can't be your friend no more. So when this card comes out, you stop being friends with somebody or distance yourself. And then they start slandering your name to everybody, all right? It says they had the wrong idea about you because people was listening to the bullshit at first, but now they're starting to change their minds. Someone is causing illusions to keep you stuck. The illusions was the lies. You also got the card that says, is that my baby? So somebody could be trying to figure out if a baby is theirs or not. All right. You also got the card that says somebody could have new clients and more money coming in. Some of y'all have a successful business or somebody around you does. At the bottom of the deck, it says somebody was getting bad advice from friends or family members. Somebody been doing a hell of a lot of lying. And for some of y'all, it was your own friends and family. Okay? So, as I open up the deck, the energy for my Aries is somebody's trying to hang around you for the clouds. All right? They see your star energy, your shine. Uh, I'm also seeing the ones that's going back and telling us about to get divine punishment so somebody was gathering information about you and going back and telling other people it was they was being highly messy all right a lot of gossip We got meal prepping. Some of y'all could be doing this. Some of y'all need to try this. All right, but meal prepping is here. All right, what's this? It says trying to satisfy people who could never be satisfied. You know, you might just have to cut people off, you know? And it says you don't ask for help. Somebody's very independent. They don't, they don't ask nobody for nothing. Right, a few more cards for my Aries, bitch. All right, so somebody could wear head wraps. And it says, understanding you was important to me. So, you know, you, you study what you love, right? We got held at gunpoint. Somebody could have been held at gunpoint. Somebody could be in the streets doing stuff they ain't got to finish doing. Uh, you also got the card that says, stop being so scared. Somebody's scared to do something. Somebody's scared to tell some type of truth as well. 
Aquarius could be involved in this situation. And it says somebody could be selling plates or in the food industry in some type of way. Pop-up shop. Somebody could have a business or something. Somebody could be popping up on you. And it says, tell the truth. It's time to let the truth be known. All right? At the bottom of the deck, it says somebody was trying to make you jealous because you walked away from them. All right? So, please like this video if it resonates at all. Thank y'all so much. I love y'all.